I had no idea the British press was so bigoted. This one's wife. The most important title is Mom. Oh no, it's not. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. This one's wife is known as the Duchess of Sussex. She was provided with that title when she married Prince Harry. Harry was born a prince, so even if the title of Duke of Sussex was taken from him, he would still be Prince Harry, and this would mean that this one's wife would be Princess Henry, so she would still have some form of title, which, of course, she loves. Nevertheless, she has attempted to maintain false humility, which is another form of manipulation on the part of a narcissist and is invariably seen with mid-range narcissists that engage in the old humble brag, that claim to be humble in relation to the way that they conduct themselves, that they apparently show humility in their daily dealings, when in actual fact it's far from that because of the grandiosity they exhibit as a narcissist. But in relation to this one's wife and the title, you may recall a comment that she made in the bombshell Oprah interview of some three years ago. In this, she complained about the fact that the royal family had decided not to bestow a title on Archie. She said she was never given a reason why the first member of colour in this family, was not being titled in the same way that other grandchildren would be. And she said there were conversations around the same time about how dark Archie's skin would be. As we all know, these turned out to be revisions of history. This one's wife cited a convention that the grandchildren of the monarch are titled prince or princess. Under protocol set up by George V in 1917, the children and grandchildren of a sovereign have the automatic right to the title HRH and the title of prince or princess. That extension doesn't apply to the great-grandchildren of a monarch, as was the situation back then. Although Queen Elizabeth made an exception giving the titles to William's children, because they are directly in the line of succession. Thus, this one's wife, failing to understand the protocol, decides, driven by her narcissism and her victim mentality, that, oh, the reason that my children haven't been given titles, or at the time, my child, is because it's racism. Rather than actually understand that it's following a protocol, her victim mentality takes it to narcissism. When Archie was born... Harry and this one's wife announced his name as Archie Mountbatten, Mountbatten Windsor, the surname used by the royal family. This one's wife pointed out in the interview that Archie and the child that became Lilibet would be entitled to become prince and princess when Harry's father becomes king, as eventually he did. Even with that convention I'm talking about, while I was pregnant, they said they wanted to change the convention for Archie. Well, why, this one's wife said. She claimed she was never given an answer. But in actual fact, this one's wife is making a big song and dance about the fact that she maintains that Archie wasn't provided with a title back then, in 2021, when the Oprah interview took place. She also said in this interview... All the grandeur surrounding this stuff is an attachment that I don't personally have. I've been a waitress, an actress, a princess, a duchess. I've always just still been this one's wife. So for me, I'm clear on who I am, independent of that stuff. And the most important title I will ever have is mum. I know that. Thus, she claimed in the Oprah interview that the most important aspect is being a mum. And yet, moments before that, she was moaning her arse off about the fact that Archie hadn't been given a title. So, which is it? What's more important to you? Your title and the title that you believe that your son should have, or the title of mum? Notice that in the same interview, the same conversation, she shows her hypocrisy. And that's because 
Her narcissism causes her to operate in the moment. Now. And now. And now. Which means that two minutes ago, in order to try and control the audience and Oprah, she would complain about the fact that Archie hasn't been given a title and that it's clearly as a consequence of questioning his skin colour. And then, two minutes later, state, well, titles aren't important to me anyway, the most important title is Mum. Thus contradicting herself. But she doesn't see that she does that because her narcissism prevents her from doing so. Because it compartmentalises her, causing her to have the focus in the moment. Thus, this is why narcissists commonly get themselves tied up in knots where they are the less evolved type of being lesser and mid-range, which is something that people can exploit by the presentation of evidence showing these contradictions to a third-party decision-maker. But that's a topic for another occasion. Here, it demonstrates the hypocrisy of this, hypocrisy of this one's wife where she claims she's not interested in titles, and it's quite clear that she is. And her behaviour since then has reinforced that, because she writes to people, stating, this one's wife, Duchess of Sussex. She has some weird cipher that she utilises for her correspondence. When she appears at one of her beige word salad speech talks, she invariably is announced as the Duchess of Sussex, her name is emblazoned on presentational material or the backdrop stating this one's wife, Duchess of Sussex. She loves having that title. And as I've explained to you previously, the reason for this is that that title allows her to triangulate people. She triangulates people with that title in order to control them because they ought to show respect and deference to her by virtue of the fact that she gained a title just because she married somebody. It enables her to draw fuel from people because they ought to show this deference and respect to her because of her title, thus that gives her fuel. It also allows her access to residual benefits, that she is treated in a way where she's given preference, that she's moved to the head of the queue, etc., that she doesn't have to wait around, that she's access all areas because of this title. Thus, her narcissism relishes having this title, and her protestation that essentially titles aren't important to her and the most important title is that of mum is bullshit. It's also double bullshit because we rarely see her behaving as a mum. She goes to all of these different places and the children are never seen. She doesn't talk about the pregnancy, she doesn't talk about giving birth, because if she was the one that had engaged in such behaviours, you wouldn't hear the end of it from a, an individual such as this one's wife, because she'd want to tell you about all the things that would happen to demonstrate that she was a brilliant earth mother who gave birth in a beautiful spiritual moment, that angels were singing, that the children just eased out without complication, etc. She would turn it into the spectacle in order again to pursue those prime aims. Thus, the suggestion that the most important title is mum is bollocks because she never behaves like a mother, for reasons I've explained elsewhere, and the title Duchess of Sussex is far more important. Want to know what the clincher is with regard to her need to have this title and to tell the world all about it? Well, this is reported by GB News and Dorothy Redden as, as a consequence of the recent appearance at Trey Loon, see my earlier video, Pap Me, this one's wife was seen carrying a handbag embroidered with Duchess of Sussex. Mm-hmm. The mother of two went to Trey Loon, a restaurant in Monte Shitcho, with actress Kimberly Williams Paisley, famous for her role in the film Father of the Bride. This one's wife could be seen carrying a Dior black handbag embossed with the letters DSSOS, an abbreviation of the Duchess of Sussex. She was first spotted carrying the bag in 2021. One royal fan wrote on social media, weird, weird, weird. Another commented, she's so predictable. If the most important title this one's wife was mum, why didn't you have mum on your bag? Because we all know that it isn't. 
and you're so tacky, so classless, so crass, behaving like a newly minted reality TV star that you go wandering around with a bag that has DSSOS stamped on it, embossed in it. Pathetic. It really does show how she has no class whatsoever. You compare the appearances of, for instance, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and how elegantly she conducts herself, and then you get this clown turning up, flaunting a bag with her title stamped on the side. Ugh. It really is so classless of her and demonstrates what truly matters to her. Is she out being seen with the children? No. She's out being seen by Backgrid, as usual, with a bag with her title's abbreviation embossed on it. You really couldn't make this shit up. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.